In this demonstration, we will be creating a project named Tester. We will open up System Builder, which is located in your D2115 system CD under Tools. We will drag this onto the desktop to make it easier for future projects. System Builder saves you time by creating the pen assignments for you and then you choose what components you need. The only ones that we're going to check are the 7 segment hex display, LED, keys, switches, and clock. The rest we can uncheck. Our project name will be Tester. And then we're going to click on the generate button, save it. Okay. The code generated by System Builder is going to be located in the code generated folder. We're going to open up the QPF file. It's going to open up Cordis 2. We're going to click on tester. System Builder generated the Verilog file with inputs and outputs. It also generated the pin assignments for us. If you wanted to double check your pin assignments, you could open up the user manual and check them. As you can see from LEDR0, pin G19 is the same for both of them. So we know that's right. Right below the structural coding, um, that's where you're going to put your code. For this example, we will assign all of the red LEDs to the switches. So every time we turn the switch, the corresponding red LED turned on. We assign the green LEDs to the, to the keys to use only the last four green LEDs from 3 to 7. Every time we push one of the keys, one of the green LEDs turns on. We use the tilde because the keys are active low. On page 37, you can see figure 410, which are the connections between the 7 segment hex display and the Cyclone 4E FPGA. We will be using the 7 segment display to show the values of 0 through 7. In a 7 segment display, a high logic level will turn off the LEDs and a low logic level will turn the LED on. As you can see on the user manual, a zero would have all LEDs on, but the middle, number six. We can represent this value by setting hex zero to one zero 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 zero. To display a one, we'll turn on the connections one and two. To display a 2 will turn off the connections 2 and 5. To display a 3 will turn off the connections 4 and 5. To display a 4 will turn off the connections 0, 3, and 4. To display a 5 will turn off the connections 1 and 4. To display a 6 will turn off the connections 1. To display a 7, we will turn on the connections 0, 1, and 2. We will now compile the project. This step may take um, a couple of minutes.
then after we have no errors um, we can open up the programmer and press start as you can see when I turn on the switches the red LEDs turn on and when I press the keys the green LEDs turn on finally, finally as you can see from the 7 segment text display we display the number 0 through 7